It's always interesting talking to people uh, about what I do when people ask, what do you do? I guess they're used to, well, I'm a doctor, a lawyer, or a teacher, and I say I'm an ocarina maker. I think if, I think passion is um, half of the equation, and the other half is, you know, good old-fashioned hard work. You know, there are, there are a lot of passionate people out there, but um, it, it takes a lot of a lot of work to really, you know, make something happen. You know, I I love the ocarina. I love making the ocarina. I love playing the ocarina. I love everything about it. Um, so that kind of drives the work. That that motivates me to get out here every day and and uh, get my hands dirty and and do what I do. An ocarina is a very old wind instrument. It's thousands of years old and uh, it's usually made of clay, uh, which is what I make mine from, and it has a very unique, haunting sound. I first heard and saw an ocarina on a video game. When I was younger, about 12 years old, I got a video game called The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and the character in the game played a magical ocarina. I thought it was pretty cool, but I did not know that the ocarina was a real instrument until I saw one in a music store. And so that kind of piqued my interest. And I bought one and learned to play it and fell in love with it. I taught myself how to make the ocarina, uh, basically. I um, went to the library and got a few books on uh, basic musical instrument making. And uh, there was a section in there on wind instruments. And so I got some ideas from that, and then from there I just kind of uh, went with it and figured things out for myself. When the quality of my ocarinas got to the point that I, you know, I approved, I was satisfied with, with my work, I thought that maybe other people would, would be interested in playing them as well. So the natural thought was, let's put a couple online and see if anybody wants to buy one. I've been making ocarinas for approximately 14 years and selling them for nine or ten years. With a, with a business like this, um, where you've got a very specialized product, it's, it's difficult to sell to, um, to locals. Um, I sell 99% of my ocarinas all over the world through the internet. I actually have a uh, United States patent on the design of my ocarinas. There's an internal feature which uh, improves the clarity of the higher uh, notes. So, uh, whereas some ocarinas may not have that crisp, clear tone in the higher register, my ocarinas uh, make that possible. The business is, is interesting because it's, it is kind of um, double-faceted. There is the, the making and selling ocarinas part of it, but then there's also uh, the performance aspect. Uh, a lot of people um, enjoy ocarina music who may not necessarily be interested in buying uh, an ocarina, so that's where you know recording music and performing and things like that come in, and um, so you know with those two together, it really it really makes it seem quite possible to to do this for the rest of my life and make a, a decent living. At it.